This is TFNN, the Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN, headline news update. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida, 2 p.m. Eastern time on Wednesday, 2 p.m. being a special time. It's Fed Day, and we're getting that announcement as we speak. Markets right now, S&P is up two points, trading 29.59. NASDAQ positive by 35, trading at 81.30. And the Dow positive by 30, trading 26,614. You can see the numbers jumping around on the charts a little bit more than they usually are. We're going to jump back and get the quick headline. So there is where our headline, as you have, Fed funds rate unchanged. You have Fed to stay patient on rates as economy solid, inflation muted. Fed overall and core inflation declined are running below 2%. With that in mind, jumping over to a chart of the 10-year, we got a little bit of a spike in price, so that would be higher prices, lower yield. This is the 10-year we're looking at right now, trading at 123.29, up about seven ticks, and has ticked up about one or two ticks since that number dropped. Jumping back, we'll take a look at the futures markets. We'll start it off with the Dow. So near the lower end of the range for the day, 26,601. We reached 26,557, about two, two and a half hours ago. NASDAQ 100 getting a little bit of acceleration in the last 10 minutes, trading at 78.51. S&Ps right now trading at 29.50 off the lows of the session, 29.43, made it about 12.45 p.m. Eastern time. There's gold getting some action on the Fed for sure. Look at gold trading from about 12.83 up to 12.87. Crude oil, pretty muted, 63.42, jumping back to that 10-year. And as we expected, I saw when I saw what gold was doing, I was thinking that you'd see the 10-year, as in rising in price, lower rates. You get lower rates. That's going to help gold. Excuse me. Jumping back to some of the headlines. So uh, we don't have really anything else below that. We'll check into it for sure. But that's your headlines. No rate change at all. And uh, it seems like the Fed is going to stay patient on that number. Jumping back to gold, 1287. And let's just get here. We'll pull up the 10-year yield. And this is going to give us the actual interest rate versus the price on the last chart. And there we go. Look at that spike. So we just saw the 10-year go from about 2.4. Is that 2.4? Yeah, 2.48 down to 2.46 in the span of a few seconds. Not bad, folks. Stay tuned. Dave White, he'll have a lot to talk about as we break down that Fed decision. Tom O'Brien, live from 3 to 5. Have a great Wednesday, everybody.